Duke takes the floor in Chapel Hill, where they haven't won since March of 1991. And the Tar Heels come out looking to add to their streak of five in a row in this series. From the Dean Smith Center, it's the Blue Devils of Duke against the eighth-ranked North Carolina Tar Heels. Duke has improved to 12 and 7 overall, 3 and 4 in the ACC on the strength of a three-game win streak. Carolina 15 and 4 all alone atop the ACC with a 6 and 1 record. Good evening, everybody. Mike Patrick along with Dick Vitale. It's great to have you with us. Of all of the rivalries in sports, nothing lives up to the excellence and intensity of Duke and Carolina. This is number one. Mike, I couldn't agree with you more. This is class. This is excitement. This is absolutely bedlam. It's college basketball at its best. And tonight, I think the key is going to be the three-point shot. A key for Duke. They better make the perimeter shot, which came for Lynn Collins. And on the other side, Duke better stop the penetration of Jeff McGinnis, because if he penetrates and they give help, Mr. Calabria is going to tickle the twine. They wear the faces of those caught up in the power and intensity of the moment. And these moments find a way to endure, allowing some of the faces to transcend the present and become part of the lore, the story tradition of the greatest rivalry in college basketball. We now have a new sequence of DNA with instructions on how to combine it with ours. They don't know how to find her. You created a monster. Now you want us to hunt it down and kill it. They don't know how to kill her. We decided to make it female so that it would be more controllable. More controllable, huh? Well, I guess you guys don't get out much. They only know if they fail. We gotta get to her before she gives birth. It's the end of us all. Species. A direct ticket. What was that? Help me! Ah! I can't destroy people dead. A gray gorilla. No such thing as a gray gorilla. I saw it. I never saw an animal move like this. Don't miss Congo. Playing this month on direct ticket. Set to go from the Dean Smith Center with Duke and North Carolina. Let's look at the Buick lineups for the Blue Devils under Mike Krzyzewski. Greg Newton has to play well to give Duke an inside presence to go with their perimeter game. For the Tar Heels and Coach Dean Smith, Jeff McGinnis not only the second leading assist man in the conference, but he's taken over the team scoring lead at 15.8 a game. Rashid Wallace, Warren Martin among the uh, many returning stars for both clubs. This brings him out of the woodwork, doesn't it? You, Hubert Davis is here, but as far as Mike Krzyzewski goes, he's happy they're sitting up in the stands. Price with the first shot for Duke off the baseline. Blue Devils 2 0. That's really big in the last four games. He's shooting, you ready for this? 12 for 41. He's too good for that, Mike. That ought to give him a real confidence boost. Oh, nice screen and roll. Oh, the simplest play in basketball. A screen, a roll to the goal. Nobody steps out and helps. The two freshmen, Carter and Jamison, combined. Nice play by Jamison and Carter, the diaper dandies. What a surprise. Price starting at the forwards, which makes Duke a little more athletic, Dick. What a real surprise, though, to play this year of Jamison. Yeah, Duke has gone quicker. They're not starting Dobzowski. Price again. Here comes McGinnis, picked up by Collins. Jamison so quick off the floor. And when he shoots, you can put it in the book. He's automatic. He's got that quick release. Villanova really contained him by getting physical with him with court again. But they don't have a 6'7", 240-pound body to put on. Well, Domzowski might be the guy off the bench, but right now, with the people they're starting, they do not have that kind of player. Now, look at this little simple screen roll. See the screen? Oh, what a great screen. Now, look at the release after the screen. And there he calls for the ball, and then the rest is great legs with a tremendous bounce off the floor. Jameson. 
Swicker did a pretty good job containing Newton on the last play. Capel off the inbounds hits it. Nice play. Capel got right into the lane. Excellent penetration. Something like Krzyzewski teaches. Look at that intensity out of him on that sideline. This is Calabria to Carter. It's that motion game. They use a lot of high screens. Got a mismatch now with Swicker down low. Now Newton returns on. McGinnis will try a three short. Offensive rebound lost to Wallace. Wallace really played well in their last game against Maryland. Collins with a runner. Got the roll. I'll tell you something about this kid. He always plays with emotion and intensity. Collins, a reflection of his dad, who's doing a great job with the Pistons. And he's having an excellent season after just having a terrible time last year. Calabria for three. He forced that shot. The shot wasn't fair. In fairness to Collins, though, right, he never came back from that stress fracture in True. his foot. Probably should have redshirted last year, like they're doing this year with Langdon. Trajan Langdon is sitting out for the Dukies. If you look at Michelangelo, keeps winning and winning in every era. Here's Wallace. He's fouled on the way in, and then the ball really swatted out of bounds. He's playing with a little bit more authority now, Wallace. He's getting a little confidence in his game. He's trying to make things happen offensively as opposed to just being a guy running up and down the floor. Season recap, you look at the Dukies with seven losses. Carolina, great this year, 15 and four, surprising a lot of people, sitting on top of the ACC at six and one. Wallace really played against a uh, low level of competition in high school. They thought it would be a while for him to come on, but he's starting to show some signs. Duke on top, 8-4, and the Blue Devils don't look a bit intimidated by coming in here tonight. Well, you know, no one knocked out Duke in their seven losses. They've all, all been really solid games. In all the conference losses, they had big leads. Jamison can't let him catch the ball in that deep. He's so quick. He's got the quickest release of any young player I've seen this year. Leads the ACC in field goal percentage, better than 60% of his shots. Collins trying to drive by Wallace, really skied oh, great, great loss. The new. Great look. I'll tell you one thing. Hey, people, don't go away tonight. We're going to see some quality basketball. Calabria fouled or walked. He walked. They're going to walk in violation. I'll tell you, Mike, if this game continues at this pace, the early indications are we're going to see some great plays and some exhausted players because neither team is deep. We're going to see a lot of zone defenses where you protect some players because you don't have to depth the pressure. Taman Domzowski is in for the first time. There's the three by Capel. And uh, Carter got leveled by a screen and was very slow to get up. Jump hook. Well, well, well. Serge Swicker. I tell you, there's a guy everybody thought would be an all airport player. A guy that looks good at the airport, get no quality time. But he has really become a factor in that lane because of his size and his touch. It's a credit to him and the North Carolina coaching staff. Collins from a different zip code. I'll tell you, that was out of town, baby. That's a long range jet. He's fired up. He feels it. How to get three and a half for that one. It's 13 8 blow doubles. He shot that from Cameron Indoor Stadium. Here's a push. Hey, before we go any further, we got to say congratulations to Bob Hurley and his beautiful wife. They just had a baby girl today. I understand they named the baby. You're ready for this. Cameron after Cameron Indoor Stadium. Congratulations. Hey, Mike, we're getting old when Bob Hurley's yeah. having babies. Our most sincere congratulations to go out to Bobby, who is just uh, fighting back through everything after such a tragic accident. Person you really root for. Oh, nice backdoor claw. Missed the shot, though. Ooh, Wallace with another rebound. They cut without the ball. Duke is really on fire offensively early. Price can't get the roll. Gonzowski kept it alive, but the rebound to Jameson. Gonzowski's become a little bit of a factor inside with each game, getting better and better. McGinnis with a runner. Jameson tries for the follow. -up. They get a follow on Jameson, climbing it back. And that will be two quick ones on Antoine Jamison. Uh, 
Watch number 33. Watch number 33. There he is now. He's going to climb it back. Oh, yes, he makes contact with Price. When was the last time you played in the rain? Let your hair go wild. Flexed your muscles to the world. Stayed up past your bedtime. When was the last time you really had fun in a car? Riviera by Buick. Go ahead. Express yourself. Morning watch is on. Looks like we're going to get wet. It is a phenomenon of nature. Oh, hell, keep out of the reggae! A subject of legend. What happened in my ship was not imagined. And a force. Skipper! Of pure destruction. Jeff Bridges in a film from the director of Alien. White Squall, rated PG-13, starts Friday, February 2nd. Still using Western Union to wire money? Next time, use MoneyGram and save up to nine bucks. Unless you really like getting uh, overcharged. MoneyGram, always less than Western Union. Still using Western Union to wire money? Next time, use MoneyGram and save up to nine bucks, because taking one bath a day is enough. MoneyGram, the better way to wire money. Duke with a five-point lead early here at the Dean Smith Center. Let's update you on another ACC game tonight. Wake Forest behind 21 points and 16 boards from Tim Duncan, Pete's NC State, and Todd Fuller with another great performance by four. And the updated standings will show you North Carolina all alone in first. Wake Forest and Georgia Tech both with two losses. And then the rest of it is up for grabs. And Dick, this was going to be the year where everybody got North Carolina right. Yeah, everybody thought this was the year that jump out of losing Wallace and Stackhouse. You know what's interesting there? Georgia Tech, only two losses in a conference, but they have nine overall. Bobby Kremens' club cannot afford a mini slump because they can lose too many games and play themselves right out of the tournament. Or they can go on and win the ACC. No, they have to get in that way. And they're capable of doing that. Absolutely. So much balance this year in the league. The league lacks that dominant heavyweight club. Duke has hit five of its first nine shots from the floor. Collins wide open. Missed a three. Price offensive rebound. It amazes me that he's not a star, Mike. It really does amaze me that he is not one of the super souths in America. Or when you see him play like that, this game brings out the best in these teams. You can just feel the electricity on the floor. Look how the players are so focused. Jamison playing with the two fouls. Misses a rare miss for him. Price with a save. And Jamison got hit in the mouth. Yeah, he really took a shot. I am so impressed. I'll tell you, it's going to be a tough battle for rookie of the year in this conference between Marbury and Jamison. That battle's going to go down to whatever team I think's up on top. If Carolina's there, you've got to give it to Jamison. Text there, give it to Marbury. I tell you what, right now, I would give it to both of them. I think they've both been so brilliant, and it would be a shame to see either one of them lose it. How's that for a bailout? Well, that's a bailout. You're a politician. You're like Richard Petty. He's here. He's running for Secretary of State. Shaman Williams and Steve Wojciechowski come off the bench. I love Richard Petty. I've got a chance to take a picture with him. Okalaja is in for the first time. This is Wicker. He's another nice-looking freshman. Out of Germany. He's played exceptionally well coming off the bench. There's the McGinnis penetration. Swicker with a tip follow, but Newton with a rebound. Newton really active on the inside. They got to get him a few touches, though, offensively. He shoots so well, like third in the nation. A field goal percentage. Wojciechowski goes low to Newton. Got to play a little two-man game. Got to clear out and let him go one-on-one. -on -one. Fall away over. Swicker got it. Well, that's what they did. They went inside to Newton. That's a good call by Mike Krzyzewski. Biggest lead of the game, 17-8. And Newton would lead the ACC in field goal percentage if he had enough attempts to qualify. He has really become a factor to war offensively from out of Canada. Now look at him down inside, posted. He has excellent touch. He's going to spin to the baseline. The little turnaround jump shot, good rotation. Excellent two-man play. What an improved player. Foul on Taman Domzowski, his second. He's had foul problems. That's happens with a lot of young players. 
Well, he said he played in New Mexico. Oh, nice that many block. Pitches to play. Blocked by Newton. Newton with the rejection. Shaman Williams went right down the lane after a great pass, and Newton was right there, but there's a foul. Look at Shaman. He's trying to be a politician. Now look at the backdoor cut. He catches Wojciechowski staring at the ball. Newton says, get it out of here, little guy. This belongs to the Giants. Get it out of here. When Newton and Mike Krzyzewski questioning that foul and after the replay, probably with good reason, looked like he had all ball. I thought he had all ball, had a good angle for the block shot. Williams has been very productive off the bench. It's an exceptional free throw shooter. He just missed the first one, 82% on the year. Last year he hit 85. Look at Lebo, Jeff Lebo. You see the numbers he had when he played here. He had a great stroke. He's chasing Lebo for the best season and the best career free throw shooting ever. And Domsowski is doing that for Duke against Chip Squinarco yes, in 1978. Is. That's the year Digger took his team, Notre Dame, to the final four. Swicker, good help defense on Wallace. The the Guinness really hasn't been effective so far at penetrating. I was just going to say, Mike, one of your keys at practice yesterday was to stop his penetration. They feel he's the key to this club. Beat him to a spot. Trying to work on Collins. Tough shot, and he hit it. I'll tell you, he made it work for that. He had to really work for that one-on-one -on -one maneuver to make that happen. McGinnis has hit one of four. Boy, and he comes out quickly on Collins. Wojciechowski had a big game against Maryland. Had a career-high 13 points. Made a big three when Maryland made a run at him. Got it down to six up to be 20 down. Price double team to steal. Both teams playing tough defense. Coming back from behind is something that's been a tradition here in North Carolina. McGinnis tries to dump it low, tipped and picked by Wojciechowski. Last game, they were down 18 with 17 on the clock and came back and beat Wake Forest. That was some comeback, and this building was as loud as it's ever been. Led by their diaper, Dan. He's at Ian Jameson at 15 off the glass. North Carolina picking up the defensive intensity. Wojciechowski, three. Wojciechowski coming in, shooting only 32% from long range. But in the last couple of games, he seems to have found his shot. The one thing about the kid, he's going to dive on a floor, floor burns, he's going to scrap and claw. They chart floor burns at Kansas. I met Roy Williams' son today, plays on a junior varsity. Swicker, another jump hook, won't go. Tip nearly went by Jamison, and the rebound to Duke. Ricky Price, very active today. 20 to 11, Blue Devils. Great defense by Jamison to get back and knock it away. Bodies going everywhere. Carolina, Shaman Williams. Not a good look right there by Wojciechowski. He had to throw that, make that a perfect pass, almost an impossible entry. No, he tends to gamble sometimes and get burned that time. McGinnis, oh, nice Swicker. Floor. Swicker likes that shot on the other side of the floor. You got to make those open shots. That's created by his penetration. McGinnis. We've got a timeout. 11 14 to go, first half. Duke, 20 to 11. Little guy here with the TGI Fridays wrappers. Actually, I was talking about these hip new sandwiches, like this Philly cheesesteak, deli, veggie, or grilled chicken, all wrapped up in Friday's flatbread. Hey, check it out. Well, I got the cheesesteak. They look a little Philly. Ladies and gentlemen, the wrappers from Friday. Well, I guess you really are what you eat. Is Red Dog better tasting premium beer? <coughs> well, yeah. It's brewed without any fancy gimmicks by Plank Road to be gold, bold, and uncommonly smooth. But hey, Red Dog. it's your call. Ready? Get him! <laughs> Isn't it just like Delta? Let's make it really cool. To design a faucet that's at both the height of style wow. awesome. and practicality. Delta, the way water is brought to life. Ah! 
UConn unbeaten in the Big East, but getting a battle from Rutgers so far. There's Billy Gilligan, and they leave him, yes, on an island. And he hits the three-pointer. Once down 18, the margin is now seven. Back to Michael and Richard. Well, I guess it's a surprise if there aren't any surprises, isn't it? Yeah, I'll tell you one thing, though. Connecticut is terrific. A lot of time to go back in that game. I think Connecticut's one of the premier four clubs in America, along with Kansas, Kentucky, and Massachusetts. Duke shooting 57% through the first 8 minutes and 45 seconds of this game. Their execution's really been perfect. Hey, Mike, before we go any further, i got to send my best wishes to Travis Monroe, a big basketball fan. He's at the Duke University Hospital, 16-year-old. He's an honor roll student. He's awaiting a donor for a heart transplant. And Travis, on behalf of Mike, myself, and everybody at ESPN, we're rooting for you, big fella, and I know you're going to enjoy this game. Absolutely. Our best goes out to that young man. Swicker throws it away. Tried to throw the angle pass to Williams. They like to utilize that play where the ball goes to the post and they try to make that pass what we call the zigzag pass from one side of the floor to the other. Zigzag, you like that, huh? Absolutely. Oh, the zone. Oh, the zone. That could be dangerous with guys like Collins at the shoot. Collins had been two out of three from three-point range. Offensive rebound. Domzowski put it up. Looked like somebody got a hand in the center. And yes, sir. Nice right. call by Larry Rose. A North Carolina player got a hand up in the rim while a ball was there. I think Mike had to be really pleased with Domzowski, who we look at here. The effort he made in traffic. He went up. Now watch him right now in traffic. Number 13. He's taking it right up at the seven-footer. It is. 22-11. Larry Rose with that good call. Had the good angle. Loose ball underneath, and Duke is picking off all the loose ones. I'll tell you, they're on defense, stepping in passing lane. Capel for three. Look at about hustling him on a glass. Domzowski got another offensive rebound, but couldn't hold it. And this is critical for Duke. They are so thin that the reserves who come in have to play well, and tonight they certainly have. You know, Duke and Mike Krzyzewski are wearing this, obviously, for their losses in the conference. They had double-figure leads and ended up losing Huge. those games. And psychologically, they got to be thinking a little bit about that. But now they've won three straight in the ACC. I think this group has figured out how to win. It was big that they beat NC State where they were on the ropes, and they hit that three-point shot by Collins. Carter with a pull-up jumper. Jamison, look how quick off his feet. He is a tremendous offensive rebounder. If you don't block out and find him and lay a body on him, he is going to just absolutely destroy you. Maryland found out he had 31 against the Turks. Jamison has eight. Here's Collins for three, top of the circle. He'll make that one all the time. He'll make that shot if you let him square his body and he gets into that gap of the zone. Carolina's played a lot of zone this year, but that could probably be a problem here against the shooters, Dukas. Collins has nine on three threes. The lead back to a dozen. Calabria out of the corner. He's been silent. Take a look at Collins now. Look at his numbers shooting the three. I mean, you look at the numbers as a freshman, 44%. His senior year, he's up to 46. His junior year, as you said, Mike, a down year. I think it was the injury that really created a problem for him. And he really lost confidence in his shot, too. He came out of the zone. Michelangelo knows how to make adjustments. You don't win in the 60s and the 90s unless you're special, and he is special. Domzowski triple team got it to Wallace. Bodies everywhere. Wallace gets the roll. Nice touch. I tell you, all the role players are playing. You could have seen that at practice yesterday. The Duke kids were so focused. Mike Krzyzewski had them so ready. And you got to know something when you go to seven Final Fours in nine years and we're back to back national title. Well, Kalaja had it partially blocked. Domzowski picks up the personal foul. That is going to be three on Taman Domzowski. The fourth annual ESPY Awards coming your way. We'll have 34 categories. 
including the video play of the year and the game of the year, and a special performance by Hootie and the Blowfish. That's Monday, February 12th, 8 Eastern, 5 Pacific. And Domzowski goes to the bench with his third personal. And that could really be big because they're so thin. Hootie and the Blowfish are big basketball fans. We watched the miss free throw here of Okalaja. Big and Miami Dolphin fans, too. Been a tough year. Hey, they're great basketball fans. They were at the Jimmy V Classic. Life was there as well. Free throw by Okalaja won't go. It's 27 to 13. Capel brings it up for the Blue Devils. 8.31 to go first half. Man-to-man -man defense. Price pull up, lost it on the way up. Jameson. Calabria. Two on one, Carter and Calabria. Oh, no, 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 no. He should have taken that right to the basket. Terrible pass by Dante Calabria, one of the few mental mistakes you'll ever see him make. Yeah, he really is. Been a solid performer, but right there, that certainly was a bad, bad play. Went for the spectacular when he could have made the shot easily. And here's the foul inside, away from the ball. Newton was being held by Carter. See, Calabria should have taken that ball right to the basket. There he is trying to throw it over Wojciechowski. Well, Wojo got mugged in the process, too. He'd like to have that back. Look, I'd like to have his hair. I mean, this guy, Pacino, De Niro. I mean, this guy's a Hollywood star. All you people should, and they should hire him for some of the soap operas. Dante Calabria, he's got the name, the looks. He made the play of the year at Maryland, flat on his back in the lane yeah. with time running out to throw it up at the basket. Jamison finished it off. Capel pull up. Got it. Oh, Capel with that nice little jumper. You know, North Carolina, the reason they're in big trouble right now, the two big guns, McGinnis and Calabria, have been neutralized, have been negated. And that was 29-13 Duke. And that was one of their keys in getting ready for this game, Duke. Let's cut off McGinnis and Calabria. McGinnis answers. McGinnis for three. He sparked him in that comeback against Wake at 25. They were 18 down. McGinnis with five. Oh, look at that hustle. Oh, look at that hustle. Going for the steal. It's out of bounds to Carolina. Well, and now Mike Krzyzewski has just exploded off the bench because it looked like it was last touched by Okalaja. Let's see if they change the call. They, they do. They do. They make nice the adjustment. Nice piece of officiating. They make the adjustment. He knew it, too. Larry Rose, Bob Donato, and Mike Wood, the crew tonight. Now watch this, diving, giving up skin. Here he is, he's gonna go dive. Look at the hustle, scrapping Duke and Carolina. It's beautiful. The hype, all the, you know, all the attention, and certainly the good players that are on the court, great coaching. We recruit against them, they recruit against us. We brag on each other. This game is, uh, uh, basically simulates the best game you would have to play like in postseason. Rasheed Wallace on the right, one of the many stars who has returned to see this rivalry renewed. Here's a steal on the inbounds to Okalaja. Calabria, who has been scoreless, still is. Newton with the rebound, knocked away, though, and Swicker comes out. Here's a foul inside. Dean Smith always working that sideline. Dante Calabria got a good look at the basket, but didn't make the open shot. Wake Forest would have win today. Todd Fuller, what a player, and he doesn't get any recognition. Okalaja got the last foul. 29-16 Duke, full court pressure. Capel lost it. A steal by McGinnis. They went to a full court trap. Came up with a loose ball. McGinnis is looking to penetrate. And isolate Swicker down inside. Okalaja with a height advantage on Capel can't take advantage of it. Trying to post him inside against Price. Here is Swicker. Walk. And he walked. Definitely looked at his pivot foot. When you take a look at McGinnis in his career, 26 assists and only two turnovers against Duke. Tonight, no assist, one turnover. That's amazing. When you think the kind of pressure last year, his performance at a 102 to 100, that's the best game I've ever been part of. Double overtime, the Cameron crazies were absolutely sensational. Collins for three, and Duke is on fire. Can't allow him to have those open shots. If you let Collins catch the basketball square to body, it's usually NBA. 
Nothing but nylon. The same with Calabria. Collins is going to let him get a good shot. 11 for Collins. McGinnis back the other way, in and out. Long rebound to McGinnis. Oh, and Wojciechowski just got nailed by a forearm from McGinnis. He's a tough little kid. He looks like a linebacker, Wojciechowski. Boy, he better be. He just took a knockout shot and got right back up. Jamison with a foul. Antoine Jamison always around the basket. No one blocks him out. Where is the art of blocking out? Finding the man and turning and keeping your body between him and the basket. 32-18, Wojciechowski for three. Missed, but Capel with a long carry. Not a good look right there by Wojo. Should make the extra pass. There it is, now making the extra pass. Christ, it's a two. There it is, the extra pass, Mike. You reverse the basketball, you bring it from the strong side to the weak side, and inevitably you're gonna get a good shot. And Ricky Price has six. He's been struggling with his shot, but not tonight. 12 to 41, coming into this game in his last four games. Really play a tough man to man. That's a bad pass. Nearly stolen. Calabria behind his back, then down the lane, dishes it off. Five, 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 five. Jump ball situation. Possession arrow will give it to the Tar Heels. Boy, is this. I mean, these guys are really going after each other. Hey, you're six miles apart. There's no rivalry like this in college hoops. Purdue and Indiana, certainly special. Kentucky and Louisville. But Kentucky and Louisville, they're not in the same conference. And this is a two teams, six miles apart, the same conference. And no two teams can share the number of national championships in All-Americans these two can rack up either. There's Swicker, and that's his favorite spot on the floor. Yeah, he likes to drift there about eight feet away on that baseline with the open shot. Jameson's a cheerleader as well, trying to pump up this crowd. 34-20. This crowd was so loud against Wake, they say. Davey Odom could not send his communication to his team from the bench for Wake. Well, this is this is reminiscent of the poor shooting that North Carolina had in the first half against Wake. Oh, look at that one. Cape ball with a rainbow. I mean, that's MCI time. That's long distance, baby. What a long-range jumper rainbow time. Both Capel and Collins have hit shots from different zip codes. The lead is 17, and here's a foul on Collins. I think a lot of his fans here are absolutely stunned. As you look here at the three-point, we said three-point shooting had to be big, and here's the Duke, he's five for nine, and that certainly has been big. That's 15 points to only three for North Carolina. And to cap it, they have more points inside than North Carolina does. We talked about the fact they had to have an inside presence. Change defensively, they're zoning right now. Duke, no, they're actually playing man-to-man -man like a boxing walk. They're chasing on Calabria. Price is chasing him. Jamison with a miss, McGinnis with a miss, and Jamison with that foul. He's in midair and everybody else is flat-footed. I don't even have to tell you to watch the play. You tell me an offensive rebound, I'm going to call the name out. Jamison, 12 points and five rebounds. He is averaging nearly a double-double. No one's done that for Carolina since Mitch Kupchak 20 years ago. That's amazing, but it doesn't really shock me with the great team balance. That's not going to happen in a North Carolina uniform. That's a silly foul right there by Wallace. Carmen Wallace picks up his first. Capel rushed that shot and missed it badly. Timeout, 3.41 to go first half. Duke by 15. This isn't about why your business has to communicate better or when the time is ripe to put all the new technology to work. We're past that stage. This is about putting laptops on desks and pages in pockets. It's about email and the internet. It's about a person who puts it all together and a company that can give you the hardware and software you need. This isn't about blue sky or sci-fi or by the by. This is about now, about how. Network MCI, that's how. Being a parent is all about being there. Whether it's a homecoming game or something as important as a college education. State Farm understands that. That's why State Farm Life Insurance makes sense. It's a smart way to help secure your children's future if something ever happened to you. See your State Farm agent for life insurance that's right for your family. It'll help make sure that all your dreams will be protected, like helping your children realize theirs. State Farm understands life. Let me guess. One side of you craves easy chair comfort, while the other side itches for performance, right? Well, meet Buick Regal with its famous 3800 V6 engine and grand touring suspension. 
Add to that an all-new interior with body-sensitive seats. And finally, there's a car for the two of you. Buick Regal. Duke shooting 60% in the first half on top, 37-22. Oh, look at the numbers. We said the three would be big. Look at Collins, three for five. Now you look at Calabria. He's got the Zippo. He's a 45% three-point shooter. He's 0 for 4. Unless he starts making some threes, Carolina's in big trouble. And McGinnis has only one assist. He's number two in the ACC in assists, which means he's not doing anything on penetration. Well, penetration, they're cutting off number one, and they're really, right now, taking away because his penetration's taken away. You take away the shot by Calabria. Three-point story overall. Duke, 50%. Carolina at 16. Top of our show, we pointed out we thought the three would be big here tonight. Shaman Williams with a long three. Missed it badly. One thing, you don't want to panic to take the first shot that's available. You want to still get the high percentage shot offensively. And Shaman Williams hits only 33% from outside. We try to make that extra pass. They got a real bounce to him right now. A real confident bounce. Price may have had a fingertip on that. Came up short. Dick, you're absolutely right. They came in here tonight like they believe they can win. McGinnis for three. Jamison with a tip and a foul. That's amazing. They're shooting the ball so quick, but Jamison will not be denied on the inside. And I don't think he's going to be denied for rookie of the year with the numbers he's posted in if Carolina wins. I mean, watch number 33. Just watch him right here. Just follow him. See, he's got inside position. You can't allow him. Show that. I want to show that again. Look at him how he's on the inside. You can't let an offensive rebound to get on the interior like that. It's one on Ricky Price, the seventh team foul. Oh. Jamison hits the free throw. He has been sensational from day one. He had 20 rebounds against Virginia. He had 31 points against Maryland. 15 rebounds against Wake Forest. Full court pressure beaten easily. Duke with a three guard, one wing in the center line. They really are perimeter dominant. Both clubs really are strong on a perimeter. And very average on the interior. But if Allen's trying to get away from McGinnis, and McGinnis will draw the foul for the block. And Dean Smith didn't care for that one at all. Well, the last time we looked at Mike, that he was in this building, it was two years ago when he coached against Dean here. Because Mike being out last year, but two years ago, you and I sat here number one against number two. Duke was number one. Carolina was number two in the nation. Dick, I've been lucky enough to do at least one of these since 1979 every year. Sometimes two, a couple of times three. This is real special. It really is. I got the second one down at the... Cameron Indoor Stadium, and you know that'll be special. They're taking some time off, playing intelligently, looking for the great shot, trying to protect the lead. Running Capel around a couple of screens. He tries to penetrate. Price kept it alive. Swicker with a rebound. Carolina going into one of their spurts. You know they're going to get back in this game. Calabria trying to get off the slide and down. Just a matter of time. You can't keep a good shooter like Mr. Calabria down. The good looking guy. He's got Hollywood all over him. I'm trying to discover him for Hollywood. Somebody better give me a tip. I mean, come on, you agents. Dante Calabria's a natural. Hey, look at Rasheed. Don't get a technical there. He's got 10 technicals in the NBA. He's got 10 teams. Calabria, 45% from long range, fourth in the ACC. Last year shot 49-6. Oh, you can't let him square his body there. You can't let him catch it. He ran to the transition game, right to the spot. He gets the great look. Why could I have his looks? Why does people have it all, Mike? He's got hair. He's got good looks. He's talented. Doesn't have your money, though, Dick. Oh, Calabria, give me those looks. The biggest lead in this game was 17. It's down to nine. You do. You and I talked during the break. What did we say? We said during the break, we said, Carolina will make a run. You can't hold them down. They almost always do. 18 down in their last game. and came back and beat Wake. They're extended. See, they're coming out playing that man. You can't sold it against their perimeter shooters. On a nice screen. They tried to set up their college for you. 1.30 to go on the game clock, 10 on the shot clock. Collins trying to run to Guinness. Wojciechowski gets caught inside. Price, Swicker with another rebound. Here's a foul, it's gonna be on Newton. 
Excuse me, Price. That's two on him. Tomorrow night, more college basketball comes your way. Providence against number 21, Boston College at 7.30, followed by number one, UMass, with a healthy Marcus Camby against Temple. That's at 9.30. And Marcus Camby, when you take him out of the lineup, Dick, Massachusetts is still good, but not nearly. Well, obviously, they don't become the great, great team, but they showed a lot of guts to win without him on the road like they did. They get a tip it, and they're going to count it as a free throw. Free throw, conversion on a free throw line. You know, you talk about Massachusetts, they really have impressed me when you talk about Travieso and Padilla and Dingle and Bright. To be able to win, they showed a lot of character winning without Marcus Campbell. 37 30 North Carolina on a 12 point run in the last two thirds. They are back, the crowd is loud. This place has learned to rock and roll. They don't sit down on their hands like they did up in Syracuse until the team came back. Wallace, big three. Wow, Carmen Wallace starting to get a little active offensively. Showed that against Mer Maryland. And he and Price showing the willingness to take the big shot. 40 to 30. Oh, Kalaja. Offensive foul. Good call by Larry Rose. He definitely out of control, trying to make things happen. That three was really big. Duke was struggling. Wallace makes the three. Now they come over. They take the charge. Newton. That's a big play by Newton. It would have been his third personal. Domzowski already on the bench with three. Collins trying to beat McGinnis. Here comes the trap. Got it to Wallace. Finger roll wouldn't go for it. Okolaja with a rebound. Shot the ball a little too quick. Should have backed it out. Should have played for a higher percentage shot. Swicker from his favorite spot with a miss. Here comes Wojciechowski. Duke can play for one. You gotta love this kid. You gotta, all you little kids out there, gotta like this little guy. Show him you can play at this level. Our Delta Fawcett halftime report coming up. Stay tuned last, for that. Playing for the last shot. Carolina's gonna trap. Could leave somebody open diagonally. There Come, it is. There it is. Capel. Yeah, Capel banks it in. As soon as they trap, where's the first place they look? Right opposite the defense. A great play. Capel and Wallace come up big. And there goes Coach Tang. Back-to-back -back national titles in 91-92, which is great seeing them on the sideline. Duke playing as well as it can and has a 12-point lead over North Carolina at the half. And now our Delta Fawcett halftime report with Chris Fowler and Digger Phelps. Fellas, thank you. At this point, we're supposed to talk about can Duke come back? Our producer, a Duke graduate, anticipating a Tar Heel lead. Instead, it's can Carolina come back? In the you got to credit Coach K. He's got these kids believing. They, I thought they had more intensity to come into this game. And Dean's kids were a little relaxed. And next thing you know, the zone bothered the shooting. Calabria's got to find the three. Looks like they want it more. It's important in rivalry games, but it's still a half to play, obviously. Coming up in our Delta Fawcett halftime report, the Big Ten race gets wilder tonight as Purdue goes into Michigan. And also, Tim Duncan and Wake Forest pushed to the limit by NC State. Highlights coming up. ESPN's presentation of NCAA basketball is brought to you by Buick and your local dealers. Remember Buick, the new symbol for quality in America. And by Bud Light, official sponsor of the 1996 Olympic Summer Games. Make it a Bud Light. It's the Dukies by a dozen at halftime. Scores and highlights ahead. When plumbers hit the road, they carry more than a truckload of faucets and pipes. At halftime, certainly a surprise. The Blue Devils, underdogs by about a dozen points, lead by that margin. Welcome back to our Delta Fawcett Halftime Report. Chris Fowler along with Richard Phelps. Elsewhere in the ACC tonight, Wake Forest trying for a piece of that lead against NC State. In a big win because now if NC loses, that means there's a tie again for first place in the ACC. You were watching the matchup of centers in this game. You like Todd Fuller. He was going against, of course, Tim Duncan. And Duncan, the edge early with the flush there. Wake Forest built a lead as many has 14 points. Then Curtis Marshall hits the three from the corner, and NC State is chipping away. Clint Harris in the miss. Al Pinkins there for the putback. Then Wolfpack were down two when Curtis Marshall. Part of an 18-4 spurt, the Wolfpack led by a point, but Wake Forest regained the lead. 
The Wolfpack trail by two here. They push the ball. Fuller ahead of the field, but from a bad angle and pressured by Duncan. Could not get the layup down. Deeks win it by four to go to six and two in the conference. NC State has now lost their five ACC games by a combined 17 points. They're up to two and six in the conference. In the Big Ten Conference, Michigan State and Penn State, Tom Izzo Spartans have won three in a row. But Glenn Secunda, Secunda. little pump fake in the layup, ties the game in the early going. Spartans go on a run. Joe Garavaglia to Antonio Smith, and the Spartans had a three-point lead at the break. Second half, they stretch it out. Damon Bethea showing the range. And Michigan State builds a lead of 10 points. They are trying to put away Penn State. Two minutes to play. The lead is eight as Michigan State tries to go to six and two. And this can force a three-way tie the way things are going in the Big Ten because we've got Purdue coming up against Michigan. That's right. Michigan at home tonight against Gene Cady's team. The Boilermakers just jumped on them early, took the crowd out of it completely. Brandon Brantley, the inbounds pass. He draws the foul. Boilermakers by 10 early. Then Chad Austin hits the three. It was a 19-point lead in the first half. Purdue continues to pour it on. Nice passing here. Roy Harrison finally finishes a 22-point Purdue lead at the break. Second half, Boilermakers get playing. Justin Jennings takes the feed, throws it down. Purdue wins by 21 in Ann Arbor. If we go back to the first game of the year, Purdue didn't have anything going against Memphis. And Gene Cady again molds a basketball team. Michigan only five assists for the entire team. Eastern Michigan beating at Ohio U by nine points. Ohio U is, just takes anybody at home and, as usual, comes up with an upset. First MAC loss for Eastern Michigan. Texas Tech ranked number 15, but having trouble at Oral Roberts, leading by just five in the final minute. That's where Vanderbilt pulling away from number 22, Auburn, at home. In the Big 8, Oklahoma State last in the conference at 0-4, searching for their first win in Allen Fieldhouse. Jacques Vaughn the steal. Rafe LaFrance the finish. In the early going, Kansas actually trailed in the game. Then Sean Pearson's block gets the Jayhawks moving. Vaughn down court. No look pretty feed to Jared Haas, who lays it in. And Kansas, after the early trouble, has responded to take the lead of 18 points late in the first half. Kansas just too deep for Oklahoma State. Eddie Sutton knows it's going to be one of those tough nights. While well, a lot of 0-5 if they can't come back and win that game. Cincinnati, clobber UNC Charlotte early. Charlotte storms back. It's only a six-point deficit with 317 to play. At one time, this was a 17-point lead for Cincy. Charlotte's going to be one of the tougher teams when it comes time for conference play in Conference USA. Virginia Tech easily over Greensboro, 74 of 48, as Ace Custis has 15 and 7. In the Big East, West Virginia and Georgetown. It was a close game the first time in Morgantown. The Hoyas storm back to get the win. This was not that close. Iverson goes up high to block the shot. It was ruled goaltending. Later in the half, Greg Simpson off the miss. Feeds LeVon Lamb for the lay-in. Mountaineer is down by five. John Thompson's team would explode, though, in the second half. Jerome Williams to steal. Ten points, nine boards for Williams. Later on, Jerry Nichols misses. Iverson. Beautiful little feed inside to Othella Harrington, who lays it in. Georgetown won it going away, 91-67. 18 points, eight assists for Iverson, 17 for Victor Page, as the Hoyas move to 8-2 and two in the conference. Connecticut and Rutgers, this game, UConn had trouble in the early going and then pulls away, wins it by 18, behind 22 from Ray Allen. Coming up, NBA highlights. Sir Charles, the big toe woes behind him. He's playing like the Sir Charles of old. That's coming up. This halftime report is presented by Delta Faucet and your dependable Delta plumbing professional. Together, they're the way water is brought to life. Even at 101 years of age, we here at Kelly Springfield like to keep active. Although occasionally, we have to stop and catch a breath. Kelly Springfield, America's oldest tire company. 
The roads are getting rougher, and the chores are just getting tougher. You're working harder than ever. You need a truck that does, too. Meet the all-new 1997 Ford F-150. It throws an even longer shadow. With a wider stance and the largest V8 payload on the job. Plus an all-new suspension that loves abuse. After all, the ground's not getting any softer. The new Ford F-150. Strength after strength after strength. Dad? Yeah? There's uh, something I want to tell you. What is it, son? Well, Dad, you're my dad. And I love you, man. You're not getting my Bud Light, Johnny. For the great taste that won't fill you up and never let you down, make it a Bud Light. Ray, forget it, Johnny. Let's do in the cheese world. Feta cheese is big, Dave. Anything else? Try the pepper jack. Wow, this would spice up a bacon cheeseburger. Give me a 1,000 pounds, sliced. OK. And spice it up he did. It's Wendy's new Pepper Jack Bacon Cheeseburger. A quarter pound of fresh beef, spicy Pepper Jack cheese, three strips of bacon, and the perfect sauce. Great cheeseburger, Dave. Sure beats feta. Sure beats feta. I just said that. Come try Wendy's new Pepper Jack Bacon Cheeseburger today. Welcome back to our Delta Fawcett Halftime Report. Games like this, why it's tough to play in the NBA. Both the Suns and the Hawks coming off games last night. Phoenix had to play in Miami. Atlanta had to travel back from Indy to play the game at home. Danny Manning will be activated Friday, but not playing tonight. Steve Smith, the long rebound, splits through the Suns' defense for the dunk, and the Hawks have the early lead. Second quarter, Wayman Tisdale gets it going. With these low post moves from Oklahoma, will fade away, gets it to go, draws the foul. Suns pulled away by 10 points at that point later in the quarter. E.C. Green. Goes the distance and throws it down. And Phoenix wins it. 120 to 84. They've won six of the last eight against the Hawks. The Cavs continue to dominate Milwaukee. Clippers trailing in San Antonio, as you might expect. The Blazers also had the lead. The Boston Celtics snap a five-game losing streak, even though Dina Raja sat the game out. The Lightning, a five-game home winning streak as Pittsburgh continues to struggle down in Florida. The Habs, four goals on the six shots in the first period against the Caps. They lead 5-2. Boston over Ottawa. The Rangers and Dallas still scoreless in the second period. Chicago and Edmonton scoreless in the first period. Four college hoops scores ahead. And the second half from Carolina coming up. The road to the NCAA championship starts right here with ESPN Full Court on DirecTV. Now you can watch hundreds of college basketball games from the ACC, SEC, Big Ten, Big East, Big Eight, Atlantic Ten, and other great conferences. Catch your favorite team like Duke, North Carolina, Kentucky, Kansas, Georgetown, Michigan, Villanova, Massachusetts, Wake Forest, and many more. All this exciting college hoops action can be yours for just $79 or three easy payments of $26.33. Call 1-800-345-4DTV to order ESPN Full Court. If you're a college basketball fan, don't miss this chance to get ESPN Full Court on DirecTV because a game is a terrible thing to waste. Welcome back to the Delta Foster Report. Great finish, Louisville and South Florida. Brian Lamb launches the deep three to tie for the Bulls. Doesn't get it. James Harper, another chance. Just off, and Louisville comes from behind to win by three. Toughest road trip for you to play, South Florida, but Louisville on a roll. Big win at Pauley over the weekend. And Notre Dame gets the victory over St. John's as well. The second half, Duke Carolina straight ahead. Y'all ready for this? Meet Happy yeah. Gilmore. He was a hockey player. Don't you ever touch my puck! Now he's going from the rinks to the links. Are you one of those clubs, punk? I'm your caddy. He's got the swing. He shoots, he scores! He's got the drive. This guy sucks. He's got the ball. All right, let's go. Adam Sandler is Happy Gilmore. Ready PG-13. Starts Friday, February 16th at theaters everywhere. Time to wash up. Isn't it just like Delta to design a stylish faucet that's practical, too? Give me that. 
so it's long enough to reach today's double. <laughs> and even triple sinks. Delta, the way water is brought to life. Need a towel? shipped coal to preserve the clean taste of the Rockies. Down the Rockies! The job needs four guys now, and the guys need all their equipment. You're working harder than ever. You need a truck that does, too. Meet the all-new 1997 Ford F-150, the only full-size pickup with a standard super cab third door, 60-40 split rear bench, and standard dual airbags, plus a taller cab for more hat and boot room than ever. After all, the guys aren't getting any smaller. The new Ford F-150. Strength after strength after strength. ESPN's presentation of NCAA Basketball is brought to you by Ford and your Ford dealer. Have you driven a Ford lately? Update. Cincinnati about to remain unbeaten at home and make it 15-1. And, and Michigan State about to create a freeway tie for first in the Big Ten along with Purdue and Penn State. Back to a stunned Dean Smith Center. Guys? That's a good word for it, too, Chris. It's 42 to 30 right now. The Duke Blue Devils leading the Tar Heels of North Carolina. Duke led by as many as 19 in the first half. Mike Patrick, Dick Vitale back with you. Coming into this game, North Carolina was the worst in the ACC in three-point field goal defense. 39.5% against them. Duke tonight shooting 54% from three-point range. Well, we talked about how the three was going to be big if you let guys spot up, and Duke took advantage because North Carolina did not defend it. We're going to show a sequence where you see exactly finding the open spot. Take a look right here. We're going to see pass, go away, set a screen for Collins, and we're going to watch Calabria drop into this lane and not give him the respect defensively. We take a look at Wojciechowski. There's the screen. There he is, goes away. We reverse the ball, freeze it. Look at him squared here. Look what's Calabria doing here. You got to get up on this guy. He can shoot the rock, baby. Now we take a look at him. Look at him squaring. Collins' his eyes, they got so big. He saw the open three. Wow. Look at him. This is the main one, the orange. Look at him making these babies. I mean, he's out there knocking that sucker down, shooting the basketball really well today. I mean, there's one from the baseline corner as well. I missed that one, but we found it. He's been four for six from the field, three for five, three-point range. Here are the stats. Duke shooting 55% overall, six out of 11 from three-point range. The turnovers, both teams at seven, but Duke has 10 points off turnovers as opposed to only two for Carolina. Like the difference in the game, the backcourt of Duke has won the battle over the backcourt of North Carolina. Three for 13, the backcourt of North Carolina, Calabria and McGinnis. Eight for 14, Caitlin Collins. The C squared gang has won the battle early, but does I have to go? 20 to eight, the point differential. Wallace on the way in, lost it out of bounds, last touch by the Tar Heels. North Carolina has won five straight in this series. Duke has not won here since 1991. There's the two three zone. Trying to match up. A lot of teams have had a problem attacking the North Carolina zone all year. Dean is zone more this year than he's done in the past. Has not been able to press as much because they're not deep. Here's Capel shot clock at three. Wallace way short. Newton didn't get it off before the shot clock violation. Nice defense by the Tar Heels. Good call by Bob Donato right on top of the play. He and Mike Wood and Rose doing a heck of a job. There's a look at Mike Krzyzewski. His numbers, man, they're just unbelievable. When you look at that career, he's had four regular season ACC titles, three tournament titles, three National Coach of the Year awards. Okalaja starts the second half. Execution so important here for North Carolina. I'd get the ball in the hands of Jamison down inside. That's a tough pass. Wicker is never going to handle that one. Jamison comes out with it and puts it in. And 
Antoine Jameson, 17 points. Well, if they're not going to give it to him, he's going to pick up loose balls and score. They got to get him a few more touches. He's automatic. I give it to him every time. <laughs> Capel for three. Another quick shot. Bad shots can really hurt Duke Early. Calabria. Didn't force it, but he penetrated. Oh, McGinnis was allowed to penetrate right there, something that didn't happen in the first half. Newton with a rebound, hands it to Capel. The lead is 10. Shot selection so important when you have a lead against North Carolina. you got to be able to take the high percentage shot, and that means ball movement and player movement. Collins leans into one, didn't get the roll. Wallace couldn't beat Jamison to the rebound. He tried to aim that one in, Chris, rather than shoot the ball. Price playing some tough. Picked up his dribble. Yeah, he really is. Ricky Price is really seems to respond to this challenge, trying to get right up to Calabria's face. And that's been Duke's calling card under Mike Krzyzewski. They're going to set some screens for Dante. He's not going to get free without the screen. McGinnis oh. dumps it to Jamison. A rare miss. The quicker. Oh, it's nice to have that size. You can't teach that, baby. Seven feet. You can't teach it. Swicker has eight, and Mike Krzyzewski has seen it up early in the second half. He calls time with 7.42 in the game. The lead is down to eight. The loads are getting heavier, and the stumps are just getting more stubborn. You're working harder than ever. You need a truck that does, too. Meet the all-new 1997 Ford F-150. Our new Triton V8 cranks out even more power and torque. Our V6 out muscles every standard truck engine in its class. And the first schedule tune-up's 100,000 miles away. After all, the road's not getting any shorter. The new Ford F-150. Strength after strength after strength. problem with the kids around the home. I'm usually the one to deal with it. But it's not just me they depend on. It's my income, too. If anything ever happened to me, Open State Farm can help make sure their future is secure. If you want to talk life insurance with somebody who knows what they're talking about and knows how to listen, talk to a State Farm agent. And like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. I'll tell you, Mike, we're going to take a look right here at the lowest art of not blocking out. We're going to watch number 45. We're going to watch him on the inside right here. Freeze it. See, right here. Look at this here. See, Newton steps up. Now he's got the inside lane, number 45. Watch Zwicker now. He goes right into the glass. Nobody on a body on him. And there's the tip. The lowest art of blocking out. You must find your man, and you must get a body. But in fairness to Newton, he had to get up. Hey, look at that headband. I like those things, but I got no hair to hold it up. He started wearing that after he had a perforated eardrum, and he's also got a uh, a plug in there to, to help it. Duke has not made a shot in the second half. North Carolina's two for four. Here's a hold on McGinnis. Mike didn't waste any time calling that timeout. A lot of guys would waste time, but did not make any. Didn't waste any time. Look at Jamison. Some people better step up. He's got 17. The rest of the club's got 17. Look what the rest of the club should. That's one for four. Six for 24. You divide six into six, get one. Six into 24. Four, that's 25 percent. Very good. Hey, pretty good at math, all right? I'm trying to impress you. Show me something with square roots. I'll get impressed. Uh-oh. There's that zone. Get into the gap. Got it to Newton. Swicker blocked it. Swicker with that great size, as he said. He's a good-time factor, not certainly a Rasheed Wallace, who was a dominant inside player. Now playing for the Bullets, doing a heck of a job when he gets the opportunity to play. Swicker law against Newton. Carolina being very patient. Jamison. And a foul. Oh, they call oh, offensive foul on Jamison. That's, that's three. Oh, three, three. Okay, that's three on him. 
Dean can't believe that call. We talked about Mike's numbers before as we watched Jamison taking it to the goal. Newton got there. I'll tell you one thing. Newton, for a big player, draws charges as well as any big player I've seen, number 55. That's his Stepping second in. drawn charge tonight. Duke has yet to score. If I would do right now, I would try to attack Jamison. Get an isolation with Wallace on a drive to try and get him four. I would go right at Jameson. Price pull up jumper. Domzowski offensive rebound. Rim now. Domzowski was right there. It came up short. Made a good effort. Calabria for three off target. Domzowski kept it alive. Jameson goes down hard. And I think it's on Domzowski. Domzowski came from the behind. Really bothered the shot on Calabria. Instead, it goes on Carmen Wallace, his second. It would have been Domzowski's fourth. Look at a field goal percentage. Duke 0 for 6. I mean, that's Brick City. So as hot as they were in the first half, they are ice cold here. Three minutes and 48 seconds into the second half. And if that happens, you're going to lock it up defensively. McGinnis against Wojciechowski, and Wojo will pick up the person. We've said that they like that dribble penetration. There aren't many point guards that can penetrate any better, really, than McGinnis. He's so strong with the basketball. He has the great size to look over the defense. Now, here he is in an isolation. There he is going to spin, take Wojciechowski to the goal. He does that really well. If you well, step in and give help, he'll kick it out. Especially against Wojciechowski, who gives up five, five inches to him. Try these numbers out by Dean. I talked about Mike's numbers. 845 wins, 17 ACC regular season titles, 12 ACC tournament titles, 10 Final Fours. Are you serious? It's unbelievable. Here's a trivia question for you. What's the worst record Dean Smith has had in the last 25 years? The worst. I'm stuck. 21 and 13. That's the worst record he's had in the last 25 years. For a lot of guys, that means a five-year extension. <laughs> That's right. Price with a left hand. Price has played very well tonight. He really has played well defensively. He has been responsible for locking up on Calabria. It took Duke four minutes and ten seconds of the second half to score a bucket. Okolaja. Okolaja, what a find. They got him out of Germany. They had a previous player that played here who recommended him going here, Rodel, who plays out in Germany. They played together on a team out there. The lead is six. We just do it. This is going to go down in the last four minutes, the winning time. Domzowski and Swick are really battling inside. Look at Calabria. He's going to make Collins have to dribble and not get the good look at the three. Capel in the opposite corner wants the ball. Shot clock at seven. Force that shot. Here comes Calabria. Calabria, good rebounder for a guard. Oh, a nice change of direction and kick out. Oh, good job cutting off penetration by Wojciechowski. McGinnis trying it again. Tough shot. Won't go. Jamison. Antoine Jamison. There is no fainter in Carolina as an offensive rebounder than Mr. Jamison. AJ is a star. That is not an ordinary player, my friends. That is not an ordinary type of dandy. He is a star, and I love him in Chapel Hill. He has 19 points and 10 rebounds. His ninth double-double this year. Capel for three. In and out. Rebound, Jamison, and off they go. The Heels Express is in gear. The Blue Devils have hit one of nine. Oh, Jamison's open. Oh, get it to y'all, baby. Michael K, get it to y'all. Rasheed likes it. Jamison, Jam City, there's the T.O. Okalaja with a great pass to Jamison for the jam. to go in the game. It's down to two. Shipped cold to preserve the clean taste of the Rockies. Down the Rockies! What's on the outside of your home says a lot about who lives inside. 
Whether it's exploring all the color and possibilities of vinyl siding or choosing other carefree exteriors to make a statement, Alcoa gives you all the ways to say it so that you can bring the very best of what's inside, outside. Alcoa Building Products. Picture the possibilities. For the vehicles in the Chrysler brand, we set some very stringent criteria. It's called benchmarking, and we set hundreds of benchmarks. Recently, we set 10 new engineering benchmarks to surpass. We scrutinize the look, the feel, even the sound quality. And that, of course, was just for a turn signal. Hey, Mike, that 19-point lead is down to a deuce. And one of the reasons, Mr. Number 33, Antoine Jamison. Look at him right there. They block him out. Cable does a good job blocking out. But he goes right over the top with the size. Now the next time, we're going to take a look right here. Watch this play as they go diagonal. Freeze him. Oh, yes. He's looking right here. He wants the rock. Nobody finds him. He's wide open. They jam it right to him. And look at Jamison. He can't believe he's open. He said, how can I be open with the numbers I'm posted? Where's my respect? Antoine Jamison has had no problems adjusting to the ACC. 17.4 points, 11.1 rebounds. Tonight, 21 points, 11 boards, seven of them offensively. This is as close as North Carolina has been since it was 10-8. Look how active they are now in that 2-3 zone. Really active, North Carolina. Newton forced it up, didn't get an offensive rebound of Price. Duke really, needs a bucket. They've hit only one of nine. They're really locked it up on a three-point shot. Big Price! Oh, big shot. See, that's a star player. A star is a guy that wants the ball when your club is on the ropes. He has star potential, has not become the star they have thought he would be. Ricky Price has ten. No, no, no. I'm surprised they took him off. They got Calabria now being played by Collins. Good defense there by Collins. Collins, good defense. Jamison with a push that is four on Antoine Jamison with 13-27 to go in the game. That's got to make Duke fans really feel great. Certainly not Dean Smith. There's Jamison now trying to work on the inside, number 33. They get him for a push. I don't know about that push. What do you think? I think it was the hand in the face. I don't think it was the push. What a great career this kid is going to have here. Once he gets a little bit more strength to that body, a little stronger physically. Newton Wall against Swicker. Take it from 15. Domzowski offensive rebound, and he's fouled. I'll tell you, he's doing what the heck of a job. He is he's really tough, isn't he? He's a tough, hard-nosed kid. I don't think Mike McKay had a tough time recruiting a Domzowski and a Wojciechowski. No. You think when he went in there, he was able to spill some of that nice Polish language, Mr. K? Look at him right here. Krzyzewski with Domzowski and with Wojciechowski. Check his numbers on a free throw line. He is right now trying to break the school record on the free throw line of Jim Spinarkle, who in 78 shot 86%. See the record right here? Jim Spinarkle, 78, was a great player without the ball. That it's both of, the, both of the free throws. Five rebounds tonight, all offensive, four points. That was Domzowski off the bench. 78 was the year that Kentucky won the national title. Here's Shaman Williams with time. Has a lot of trouble protecting the ball. Nearly lost it there. McGinnis got by Collins. Domzowski helps out. Oh, oh what a nice look. look. Great to swear. I'm telling you, what a pass. What a look. Hey, these freshmen really are special. Okalaja, Jamison, Potter. They don't play like freshmen. 48-44. Just can't get away from McGinnis, who's done a great job on it. Here's the double team. Great pass to Newton from Domzowski. And Calabria fouled him. Two on Calabria. Newton did a great job moving out the ball. Watch Ogalaja with great interior passing. Look at the little left hand, the little shovel to Swicker. And Swicker goes up with the jam, but it was the look by Ogalaja. Now here it is. But it's a nice head fake. Gets into the lane. Dribble penetration into the gap, and then the dump off to Zwicker. Newton, a 62% shooter, will go to the line. That was the fifth team foul against.
against Carolina. Duke has committed only two. What a great adjustment by Dean Smith, Bill Guthridge, and Phil Ford. What they have done here in the second half, as we look at his numbers, they have really done a great job of coming out and extending on Collins and taking away the three-point shot. And they've done a great job of neutralizing Newton on the interior. He doesn't get many touches for great looks. Blue Devils lead is back to six. This has been a very physical game and promises to be more so. Calabria foul. Let's see if it's Domzowski or Wojo on the reach in. Calabria really the lost start in the game, cutting without the basketball. Made a great move down the gut of the defense. Little backdoor cut. Dean Smith, a teacher of movement without the ball. Teaches unselfish play. Cut, replace yourself. The last foul was on Domzowski. That's his fourth. Jameson already on North Carolina's bench with four. Calabria hits the first, first watch, free throw. Watch Calabria right here, and he's going to go down the gut of the defense. There he is. See the little backdoor cut? He ran. He got Ricky Price to react to it. Calabria misses the second. Five-point lead for Blue Devils. 12-0-1 to go in the game. You almost expect a little spurt by Calabria shooting the basketball. Newton hit the floor, no whistle. Collins for three. Tough shot, wouldn't go. Wojo. Oh, nice play by Wojo Houseke. Newton with a miss. Steve Jamon Williams with a rebound. Steve Wojo Houseke, good little dish off there to Newton. You got to convert those. McGinnis trying to penetrate again. Nice shot. He's an excellent one on one guard. He has. Great what we call scoring ability as well as ability to dish the rock. McGinnis, who leads this team in scoring, has eight tonight. Are they finding Collins every time he tries to spot up for the ball? Carter is out of bounds as he gets the tie-up, so it's Duke's ball. Or Okolaje, excuse me. We're going to watch McGinnis a little one-on-one. -on -one. He backs you down. Has that great size you talked about earlier, partner, and he shoots right over the top of the defense. It's very difficult for a little guard to defend them. Duke shooting 14%, oh. Mike, second half versus 58%. That'll get you in the game. Yes, it will. Shot 55% in the first half when they build a 17-point lead, only to see North Carolina come back again. Baseline. Will somebody please tell me? Send me a message. I've watched a lot of basketball. Why this kid isn't one of the special players in the country? I find that mind boggling. He's got speed, quickness, defensive ability. He's got the bounce. It's amazing. I can't believe he's just a regular average college player when you look at his numbers. Tonight may be the coming out party. He has a dozen. Nice. Great off feed, Okalaja. Missed his shot. Swicker missed. Swicker tips. I'll tell you one thing. Don't tell me this kid's a project. Don't tell me this kid just takes space. This kid has become a factor. Serge Swicker is a major factor in the lane. 52-49. Domzowski wants the ball low. Two diaper dandies going head to head. Okolaja and Domzowski. Duke right now playing a double low post. Tough shot by Bryce. Give him 14. Can you believe he's 12 coming in here for like 42? I mean, that's unbelievable in his last four games. He said seven out of 13 from the floor tonight as we approach 10 minutes to lead back to five. And what a job he's doing defensively. Now he's rotated on Calabria. He's really contained them all night long. Wojo trying to stay in front of McGinnis, but McGinnis takes him down low again. Newton with a rebound. McGinnis one-on-one once again, sideline break. Price. Capel for three. Big shot. He's got that big rainbow shot. His dad's got to be proud. His dad right now is six and two in Old Dominion in a colonial second to Sonny Smith of Virginia Commonwealth of seven and one. Capel has extended the lead back to eight with 9.36 to go in a 20-second timeout. Coming up on the deuce tomorrow night, more ACC action. Maryland goes against Virginia. That's an 8 o'clock Eastern start. And those two teams are so terribly disappointed in what's happened to them so far this year. I'll tell you, it's been a struggle. Virginia's really had a problem. They haven't had the productivity out of Harold Dean. You talk about two disappointing players, Dean and X-Ray Hip this year. 
Here's what Price has struggled through the last four games. Forget about tonight already. Three out of 12, four out of 12, one out of 10, then three out of eight. Tonight, he's exploded. Seven out of 13. He has not only hit some tough shots, he's hit some shots that have really cooled North Carolina's momentum. Yeah, he really has, and that's usually a sign of a star. And he's also locked up this guy, Dante Calabria. He's been really right all over him the entire game. He's been on the Velcro man. I mean, he's been the Velcro man. Carter goes baseline. And they're going to push, I believe, on Price. And that'll be three on Price. And Antoine Jamison coming back off the bench with four fouls. And Okolaja will sit down. The numbers on Jamison tonight. He's playing here with nine minutes with four. That's really interesting that he brought him back so quickly. But you know what? They're down eight. In fairness, oh, you can't teach that. You can't teach that. You can't teach that high-rising ability. Carter at 6'5", soars above everybody. And Domzowski fouls out in the process. I'll tell you, he was Mr. Basketball at Florida. He broke the heart of Florida State in Florida. And you can see why. He's got unbelievable potential. Domzowski played a heck of a... He gave him quality minutes while he was in the air with a heck of an effort. Yes, he did, Dick. Carter really has to learn how to play basketball at a major college level in terms of adjusting to offenses, defenses, but you can't teach what he has here. Look at his high-rising ability. He's the elevator man. He's up, up, and away. That's his first two points of the night, trying to convert a three-point play, and does, and it's 57 to 52. He's a terrific kid, too. He led his band when he was in high school. As you look at Gonzalski, played the sax. Vince Carter is what you call quality people. There are some mean screens being set out there tonight. Price nearly lost it. Got it back now, does. And they'll call a foul on Carter. Carter reaching in. They get him for the grab. Boy, and the North Carolina crowd came to its feet as one on that call. Like the game of basketball is played in segments. The next four minutes are really big for North Carolina. They got to get a spurt and take away some confidence from Duke and not allow the Dukies to get a spurt on him. Price got another one. I'll tell you, Ricky Price, I don't know about a digger, and I don't know, Chris, why isn't this kid a star? Somebody tell me, now he's talking. You don't want to talk any trash, Ricky. You just want to play. 16 points. He's a star tonight. Newton reaches over. Zwicker knocked it away. McGinnis telegraphed that one. Yeah, good defense, good deflection. Step right in the lane. K4 for three. Gotta get There's some guys like Capel who just feel it. They know a big shot is really going to give them that momentum. I tell you, waiting for that TV timeout. Two big threes. 63 52 all at once. Duke up by 11. Carter hangs in the lane and hits one. It's Carter dribbling into that lane with that good bounce. No one stopped any kind of penetration. Carolina's got to make something happen defensively. Wallace back in. This is Price. Nice entry. Newton bodies up on Zwicker. Missed the shot. Jamison another rebound. And Zwicker did a great job making him get a bad angle on that shot. The three off target from McGinnis. The save for the Blue Devils. Wojciechowski ahead to Newton. Can't handle it and then bounced it off. McGinnis. Great play by Newton. Great play by the kid from out of Canada. <laughs> Timeout on the court, 7.48 to go in the ball game in the greatest rivalry in college basketball. It's Duke by nine. If hell has no fury like a woman scorned, there's no place hotter than January on direct ticket. She's half woman, half alien. You created a monster, now you want us to kill it. She's a dangerous species. Remember when Molly Ringwald was pretty and pink? Now she's deadly in bed. How did you get in here? I have a key. Molly's malicious. Poor Dolores, they say such nasty things about her just because a few people fell down the stairs. An accident can be an unhappy woman's best friend. Kathy Bates is Dolores Claiborne. Everyone loves a friendly ghost unless it messes up your property values. I have huffed and puffed. Now I want to rip this place down. Kathy Moriarty takes on Casper. There's nothing more dangerous than a gangster's gal, especially when she moves like this. Uma Thurman stars in Pulp Fiction.
Imagine a future where beauty is a weapon. Man's behind your back. Grace Jones and Baywatch's Alexandra Paul are cyber bandits. Bad Girls, great movies playing this month on Direct Ticket. Tomorrow night, can Camby and company keep the Minutemen on a roll when they face giant killer Temple? UMass Temple, tomorrow night at 9.30 on ESPN. Later on SportsCenter, a tale of two teams, the disappointing Suns, the streaking Hawks. Surprise, surprise, Penn State clashes with another Big Ten rival, and the Mariners have a new $8 million man. For Keith Oberman, Carl Ravage, SportsCenter, after the game. Duke by 9, 748 to go in the game. And you know, a guy who probably was involved with more of these uh, games in this oh, rivalry Lenny. than anyone else, Lenny Wirtz, who retired this year after 39 seasons of college basketball, to the ACC championship game 14 times, six NCAA finals, one of the greatest officials I ever saw, a great friend. And we hope, uh, Lenny, you're enjoying your retirement and maybe getting a look at this game tonight. I'll tell you, he's hitting the little golf ball up. The thing I always appreciated by Lenny Wirtz was his passion and love for what he's doing and to me that's a sign of being successful look at the numbers here plays in the first first the second half Capel stepped out of bounds three zebras doing a solid job today this guy doing a great job Mr. K as well as Dean having their clubs ready to play Carter has scored five points in a minute and a half after being held scoreless. He tried to run a double screen right there for Dante Calabria. Shaman Williams for three. Oh, the tip by Jamison. I just don't understand why no one lays a body on him, how he's allowed to get to the lane to the goal consistently. I know he's super quick. 23 points, 12 rebounds for Jamison. I'm sure every coach in their scouting report talks about the fact we got to get a body on him. Collins kicks it back to Price into Newton. Excellent ball movement, but he can't hit the shot. And that's the kind of shot that's been big for Newton all year long. The little shot in the lane. Okalaja. I get it to Jameson against Wallace. Shaman Williams will try another three. He hits this one. Okay, he's not bashful to take a big shot. Kentucky won and a badly the little guy, Shaman. Played with Merle Cole, the outstanding guard, who's out for Clemson. And we got to salute Clemson and Rick Barnes. Playing with a couple of starters out of the lineup. They beat Georgia Tech. Okalaja knocked that one out of bounds. I haven't seen Clemson in person have you? No, I haven't, but I have him in two weeks against North Carolina at Clemson, and that's become a very, very tough place to play. Well, those freshmen, Draconis and McIntyre, and you know about Buckner, the solid south, and they got harder back now from an injury. Well, you knew Rick Barnes was going to have a tough time. Oh, there's a trip right there. That foul will be on Carter, his third, as Collins tripped. Carter was at the game last year, recruited by Duke at the game you and I did, the 102-100 double OT game. But even being there, he decided to play for Dean. He said, I want to be in Tar Heel. Pretty tough to make a wrong choice if your uh, choice comes down to these two schools, isn't it? I'll tell you, you got that right. You know, you talk about Duke, and I certainly want to make this point. Duke has very good players, and we have said that. What they don't have are the star players of the past. They don't have, when you look at Duke, you think the barometer is final four. Seven out of nine years might spoil so many people. But right now, you look at the Collins and the Capels and the Ricky Prices. They're very good college players, but they don't have a guy to join them like a Ferry, like a Dawkins, a Leitner, a Hurley, a Grant Hill. That's the second time that's happened. Mike Krzyzewski not happy about the call as they said Price stepped on the end line. Well, the ref's right on the call. Michael K. He's right there. The lead down to five. Take a look. There's Wojo. He's out of bounds. There's no doubt about it. I think Mike was salute. Mike's saying maybe to all. He's saying maybe from his angle, it doesn't look like the foot is touching the line. Williams against Wojciechowski. Collins on Calabria. They haven't allowed Calabria to get a real good looking shot. Had a tough night. That's respect for somebody offensively. I know Mike thinks very much of him. Shaman Williams certainly isn't shot. Alcalaja follows and draws the foul. North Carolina really gets on the offensive glass. Fouls on Newton, his second. 
Here's the scoring. As you see, the balance with four players in double figures tonight. Right now, only two players in double figures so far as Jamison has far exceeded his season average. Well, you look at the numbers, you see McGinnis's numbers, and you see Calabria, their backcourt being outplayed by the two backcourt tonight. Oh, Kalajic coming in, shooting 69% from the free throw line. Three points tonight. Surprise player really played well out of the game over in Hawaii. They lost to the Maui Classic by a deuce when they got beat by Villanova. And then Villanova really put the hurt on him, beat him by 20 up at Philadelphia. Villanova, a very good job. In the last two minutes, North Carolina has gone on a 9-1 run. It's been that kind of game, but Duke still leads by three. And here comes Price, turns it over. Can't come up empty in those possessions to try and win on a road. Collins now trying to take away the penetration of McGinnis. They got to get a little bit more ball movement. He's holding the ball too often. That's not Carolina basketball. Williams posts up. Will Johansky missed his shot for Jamison with another rebound, and he'll draw a foul. Excuse me, McGinnis got that one. McGinnis again with that great size gives him a tremendous advantage as a rebounder. That's one of the great assets of Villanova with Alvin Williams and also Gary Kittles, two big guards that can rebound. Now take a look at McGinnis trying to move it out the ball. Now look, he's got inside position. Chris Collins knows better than that. His dad's a great teacher. He'd probably get on him now and say, Chris, you've got to get between McGinnis and the glass. Foul was on Collins. It's his second. McGinnis hits the first free throw. He'll get another as... North Carolina just dominating the offensive rebounds. You can actually put the name up there, Jameson, when you oh, talk yeah. about offensive rebounding. Dick, when North Carolina was down 17 early, I thought of Bucky Waters' great line that he used the other night. Two things should never start early. Autopsies and betting that North Carolina won't come back. I like that. Bucky said that. That's a great line, Bucky. They're back. It's They're a one-point game. We're going down the wire in this baby. Don't turn off that set. This baby's going to the end. Collins for three. Newton offensive rebound. Good offensive rebound. They finally get a look for Collins at the goal. Here comes the trap. Wojciechowski caught in it. Got it to Collins. Barely. Price open. Hit the shot again. It's a three. What a great Price look. Price having a sensational game with 19 points. But what a great look by Collins. Throwing that opposite pass. The zigzag pass. Throwing it over the defense. As soon as the trap comes, you want to look to the other side of the floor. But you got to convert. Ricky Price makes it happen. The trap nearly worked for Dean Smith, but they can't trap nearly as much as they used to. They don't have the quickness. They don't have the kind of quickness they've had in the past or the depth. Once again, Ricky Price makes the big shot when Duke is struggling. Again, another sign of being a star potential player. See, Calabria's got to get shots more or less off the screen than he is off a dribble move. Newton again reaches in, got a piece of the ball and another steal for Duke. I tell you, Newton does a great job with deflections. Rick Pitino charts deflections. He'd be at the head of the charts. Mike Krzyzewski calls out the play he wants. Collins got a screen. Now he tries to penetrate. Got it to Newton. Missed the shot. But there's a foul. Chris Collins has created the last two opportunities for his Duke teammates. He created the opportunity for Rick Price for the open jumper, and he created the opportunity there for Newton. And the foul is on Jamison. He's gone. Oh, that's a big foul right there. Mike Krzyzewski has got to breathe a sigh of relief to know that Antoine Jamison will be on the sideline in the last four minutes of this game. 23 points, 13 rebounds for Jamison. Jamison rotating over. Ooh, what are those? Boy, a questionable call. Tough to get Jamison on a foul on that play. He had his hand straight up in the air. Questionable call, especially in a situation like this with the contact that's taking place. It's the only time coaches really get upset outside of the show that they put on for everybody is when the calls are inconsistent. Really, that was inconsistent there because you didn't see much of a contact there. And then he, he put his hands both. I'll tell you, my friend, you're going to be a star, Antoine. You're a star already. I, I can guarantee yes, you. Is. What a future. Newton, six points, six rebounds on the night. 
Duke showing no signs of wilting. Every time North Carolina has come back, Duke has been able to forge the lead back out again. This would be such a big win for Duke. It would put him at 4-4 four and four in a conference. It would give him loads of confidence. They could win a big one on the road. And it would really build momentum for the Duke program again. Stan Brunson getting some time off the Duke bench. He's number 31. Nearly got a tip in on the missed free throw. 358 and counting. McGinnis. He's excellent driving the basketball. He just can't get the deuce, but he's really strong taking it to the goal. He's so physical with the dribble. Foul on Collins, his third. There he is right now. Look at McGinnis trying to take the ball to the goal strong, trying to seal off the defensive player. What's amazing, think of this stat. When you think of Duke, when they were 0-4, they had lost 19 out of 21 ACC games yeah. from a time in 94 when they were in the final game of the NCAA tournament. That's an amazing number. 19 really went, out of 21. Really went south in a hurry. McGinnis tonight, two assists, three turnovers in his career. You saw the numbers there, and coming into this game, 26 assists and two turnovers in his career against Duke. Not tonight. The lead is three. It may seem like a funny analogy, but building the Chrysler Cirrus was a lot like making a movie. We produced it, released it to a critical audience, and waited for the reviews. Car and Driver called Cirrus the new benchmark for compact sedans. Automobile Magazine raved about its brilliant styling and excellent handling. Motor Trend said it's the most significant vehicle in the market. Cirrus has received great reviews and a lot of awards, but that's no surprise considering its performance. Coach, what do you think? Son, it's not what you look like or how big you are. It's what you've got deep down inside. You can't see it. It's hidden. But believe me, it's there. I made the team. No, <laughs> not a chance. I was talking about this pizza. The new triple-decker pizza from Pizza Hut, hidden inside two thin crusts, is a six-cheese blend for a huge cheese taste. You know, son, I do need another guard. Night, kid. I tried a no-name long-distance company because the savings sounded simple, right? Wrong. Bill made me dizzy. Savings? Nothing but restrictions. My work's enough to deal with. Things at home gotta be simple. So I got AT&T True Reach Savings. It's the only way I save 25% on every type of call on my AT&T phone bill, no matter who I call in the U.S. AT&T True Reach Savings. Save 25% when you spend just $25 a month. AT&T True Reach Savings. That's your true choice. AT&T. The 43,000 people of Northwest Airlines are excited to offer you service to more than 370 cities around the globe. Wherever in the world you're going, get there with Northwest Airlines. Some people just know how to fly. It's the Ricky Price Show today. He has become a star. The Super South has really made all the big plays. He's hit the open jump shot when Duke has needed the big basket. The storyline from Chapel Hill, Duke shooting lights out from long range. Ricky Price with 13 of his 19 in the second half. Carolina has controlled the offensive boards. And Antoine Jamison with 23 points and 13 boards has fouled out. His presence can't be underestimated. When he sat down with four personal fouls, Carolina was down by only four. The lead went back to eight. Then he came back, helped cut it to one. Now he's out, and it's up to three, and they'll have to go the rest of the stretch without him. You still wait for Dante Calabria to make a big play. And McGinnis has come on strong in the second half with a penetration. Here's the full court pressure. Trying to lead him to a trap. you got to watch for the diagonal pass against that trap. Duke's so well coached against those kind of situations. A lot of times, teams beat the trap and then don't get back in their offense. Price with a runner. Won't go. Newton tried to keep it alive and knocked it out of bounds. 3.32 left. McGinnis really in the mode now. Wants to go one-on-one. -on -one. Wants to break down the defense. Here he is trying to... All right, passes and goes away. We get the ball to swing a little jump hook. Newton got a piece of it. Capo with a rebound, knocked out of bounds.
Browns have to do. He got the ball in deep to Swicker. He thought he got fouled on that play with a little jump hook. Newton bodying up on Swicker. There he is putting the hand up. Oh, he wants the call. He wants the foul. He says he's got my hand. 307 and counting. Mike Shashevsky calls out the play he wants. Price with a screen from Newton. Pass and go away and reverse the ball to the wing. Wojciechowski in trouble. Oh, what a nice pass look. Pass to Capel. Hit by Swicker. The bucket won't go, but he gets the foul. Great eyes by Wojciechowski. Wojo got right into an opening. Made that great pass. Mike Krzyzewski loves this little guy. Told me yesterday, how could you not appreciate this kid in terms of the effort? Look at that pass. And now Capel's going to take it up strong. And there's the rotation by Swicker, but he gets contact. Capel, an 81% free throw shooter. He's got a brother that's a south boy. Everybody's going crazy for already. Capel, where will he be? Will he play for his dad or will he wear a Duke uniform? He's hit one out of one tonight, 15 points. These all become huge as we get down the stretch. I'll tell you, they're jumping with joy right now down there with Duke. You can guarantee on that campus they are tuned in and they love this score. They're pretty excited at Georgia Tech and Wake Forest, too. A loss by North Carolina would create a three-way tie at the top again of the ACC. There goes that one-on-one -on -one drive and kick out. Oh, Kalaj, a great three-point shooter, but he breaks this one. And the foul on Wojciechowski. Okolaja shooting over 50% from the year. He doesn't take that many, but normally he makes them. I'll tell you one thing. I think he was too open. He couldn't believe he was that open. Adamola Okolaja. His mother's an engineer. Uh, out of Germany, classy kid. If you can play, North Carolina will find you. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Well, they got some help from Henrik Rodel because really no one in this country knew much about Okolaja. He was known very well in Europe. You know, Jameson was known. He certainly was rated top 25 and 30 by many, but certainly not in the category. He's right up there with the Sharif Abdul Haynes and the Stephon Marbury and Paul Pierce of Kansas. Yeah, how about top three right now? Oh, without a doubt. Chauncey Phillips is great down in Colorado as well. 69 66, 227 left. Pass and go away. Well, this renewal of the rivalry is producing everything you could hope for. Watch the guy that passes the ball, how he passes and goes away. Shot clock at 11. See now Woodrow Hospital step away from the ball. Try to spread out the defense so they can't give help. Capo for three. Okalaja with a rebound. Great positioning right there. Calabria's got to want the ball. He has got to want the basketball. McGinnis dishes low. Miss foul by Okalaja. And that's Okalaja. Look, he's so emotional. He runs back, trips on his feet. Okalaja has six. It's a one-point game. You got to love those diaper dandies. Okalaja. You got to love Jamison Carter. Little weave. Weiss has made all the big shots tonight. What a tough shot that was. Big rebound by Calabria. Oh, what Jump a hook from nine feet. McGinnis for three. A little bit long, Mike. A little bit long. Could have been a little bit more patient there. And Dean Smith said exactly the same thing, Dick. He got up off the bench, held up his hands. Now it's 114 to go. Rojo for three. What a big three. He made a big three against Maryland to win that game. Rojo, the little guy, steps up and becomes a hero. He has six and the lead is four. So North Carolina has gone from a chance to take the lead to four down. Shaman Williams for three. Hey, Mike, once again, every time we do this game, we never want him to win. And the unlikely heroes, Wojciechowski and Shaman Williams, both hitting huge threes inside the last minute and a half. I just love games like this. I mean, we could sit here all day, all night, never leave. 57.9 seconds left. Emma? Seems like we've known each other forever. Mm, yeah, I know. Two weeks. Will you marry me? Because, Emma, I love you, man. Oh, Johnny, you're not getting my Bud Light. For the great taste that won't fill you up and never let you down. Johnny? Make it a Bud Light. Jane? It's Joan. Jane, Joan, whatever. I feel like I've known you forever.
Most family sedans will put a driver to sleep. The Chrysler Concorde was designed to be a wake-up call for an entire industry. It's the original cab forward design that gives Concorde a distinctive look, sports car-like road manners, and all the room you need. Cab Ford has been so successful, other car companies are starting to copy it. To the rest of the automotive industry, this is your wake-up call. ESPN's presentation of NCAA basketball is brought to you by Chrysler. Form follows function. Just another lousy Duke North Carolina game. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing. You talk about big shots. The little guy, Wojciechowski. Look at Rasheed. He's been a cheerleader. Look at Wojo. He made a big three. He may be little, but he's BMC. He's big man on campus with this jumper. Tickling the twine. I mean, are you serious? Look at Coach K on the sideline. He says, come on. Come on. I need another win. I want 371. Help me out, Wojo. Give me another win. It's like Nicky jumped out of her seat at home. Duke has one 20-second timeout left and a full timeout. North Carolina out of 20s has two full left. The free throws, both teams will be over the 10 foul limit on the next one. And we have 57.9 seconds left to go in this game. That's all. I know you want OT. I want OT. Let's go double OT. Well, Let's we go called, triple. We called for it last year. We got two. Tate will hit that 40-footer last year. It was incredible. Look at the defense trying to lock up on the inbounds play. Capel gives it up to Collins. Coming after him, not going to try to give him the good look for the open three. McGinn is playing tough on the basketball. Duke not trying to hold it. They need a shot here. 18 on the shot clock. Free throw line is going to become big also down the end. Capel with a screen. Couldn't save it. It's out of bounds. And the clock kept running. They're going to have to go talk about the clock right now. Mike Wood with the call and a good call, but they're going to have to put some time back on that clock, I would believe. It looked like about four or five seconds came off the clock after the whistle. Obviously, the timekeeper didn't hear it. Collins appeared to take his eye off the ball to see where the defender was. Went right off his hand and Capel couldn't save it. They're going to move the clock to 30.4. Good adjustment by the timer, by the officials. Both coaches certainly not in a situation where they're arguing. You're going to watch the play right here. The clock is running as you can see it. The ball is bounced. It goes out of bounds. All right, the whistle touch. would be there. Well, that's close enough. It's really 31.7. And now they've reset it to 32.9. And apparently the officials took a look at our replay, which you can do. You can use the monitor in a clock situation. And they were, that. they were ruling it went out of bounds on the bounce before right. it was touched. Exactly. They were right on top of it. Great job. Great defense. Oh, it. oh, what a great defensive Jump play by Duke. Oh, see, here's why the rules got to go. They make a great defensive play, the kids will do, and they're penalized with alternate possession. Here's the sign where Mike and I talked about this yesterday, how this rule is absurd. They make a great defensive play, and they get penalized. I mean, if the rules committee doesn't understand that this rule is not good for college basketball, it penalizes good defense. The possession arrow gives it right back, and if Collins had it to do over again, he might not have dived on that ball. You jump this ball up, and you play, and let them scrap for the ball. Carolina down by one. Time running out. Up to McGinnis. Little one-on-one -on -one move, dish inside. Swicker missed the shot. Oh, Tip good. Tip good. Calabria gets free and tips it in. Dante Calabria knocks it in, and North Carolina leads for the first time since it was 4-2. to two. Not over with 6.5. Lots of time for Duke to get a shot. 
take the lead for the first time, as you said, Mike, in a long, long time. Take a look now. Swicker, he doesn't get himself a good angle for the jam. What there, great job by Newton. Newton, but there's Calabria with the tip. The offensive rebound has been so big to North Carolina all day today. There's a look. There's the tip in by Dante. And Calabria has been such a great rebounder throughout his career, nearly five a game. And Mike Krzyzewski wants to huddle up his team. He's got six and a half seconds. He has to go full court. And North Carolina, you would expect, will put on the pressure to try to make him use up time. I'll tell you, such poise by Michael K. Rather than getting emotional and going bananas with the team losing the lead, he shows his military experience and his officer ability as he's so calm and cool on the sideline, setting off the shot to try and win this game. Now, here's the importance of this. If North Carolina should lose this game, it would be a three-way tie for first, and Duke would move up to a tie for fourth place at 4-4. Four and four. Carolina, of course, can be the only team going to 7-1 and one if they win tonight and snap Duke's three-game conference win streak. Keep in mind this similar situation last year at Cameron when Capel hit the bomb to send the game into overtime. If he hits one tonight, he wins it. He wins the game. They don't need a three, need a deuce. And also, you got to be careful if you're North Carolina, not the foul. They're going to extend defensively to just take some time off. They're going to drift. They're not going to try to foul. Wojciechowski is going to penetrate and kick it. They got Price. the open shot. There it is. that the offensive star of the game for Duke, Ricky Price, got the final shot, an open jumper, and couldn't hit it. And it doesn't go down. And once again, Mike, I know I've been singing this all year, the alternate possession really hurt Duke at a crucial time when they made a dynamite defensive play, but were penalized because of that rule. You're absolutely right, but how many times have we seen North Carolina find a way to win in the last minute home or on the road? You can't take anything away from the kids at North Carolina. They were on the ropes, but they responded like you said, and they were absolutely tough when they had to be. Ricky Price made a lot of big shots tonight, but unfortunately that one doesn't go down, and you look at his focus, but he wasn't afraid to take the shot. Yep. There's Mike Krzyzewski watching the final shot, a chance to win. And the exact opposite reaction as Phil Ford shows you, he can still get up. He does a little dance, Phil Ford. Look at the jubilation. Oh. North Carolina, two, two great schools. Players graduate. Coaches are class. The players play with emotion, intensity. The greatest rivalry, my friend. It doesn't get better, as my partner said earlier. This rivalry has it all, baby. Coming up, Sports Center. They'll take a look at the NFL and Major League Baseball's $8 million man. For Dick Vitale, this is Mike Patrick. For our entire ESPN crew, thanks for